and we're back for part three. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Now today I'm going to be doing part three of my July book haul, which just so happens to be focusing on all historical romances. So if you haven't watched part one or part two yet, basically part one and part two were filled with contemporary romances, middle grade novels, and also books that were sent to me from publishers and marketing companies. So if you guys haven't checked it out yet, definitely go check it out because I did haul some really amazing books that I'm super excited to read. Um, so this one is going to be focused on all the new historical romances that I picked up in July. When I say new, the reason why I say new is because these books are actually brand new and they're from bookstores. My friends and my family were kind enough to send me gift cards for my birthday in June. So I used those gift cards to go purchase me some historical romances before I discovered that, you know what, buying thrifted books like buying old books from ebay wasn't such a bad idea and i ended up buying a lot of old books of historical romances so a lot of used copies on ebay and so now i have like giant boxes of vintage old historical romances that I'm so excited to show you but that's going to be a different video and it's going to be like my eBay haul kind of thing and for the time being on my channel I feel like I just have so many books to haul and so many books to show you that it's just going to be a lot of haul videos in the future because um, I'm not really feeling creative so hopefully you guys will still enjoy those haul videos and enjoy seeing all the books that I have purchased and that you can probably add to your cart. If you guys didn't know, because I never posted it on here, um, my friends Lacey, Jessica, and me were all hosting a historical romance readathon weekend version and I'll put like the details in the description box and I'll put the details here on the screen as well. So if you guys are loving historical romances and you guys want to participate in a historical romance readathon definitely come join us use our hashtag and let's chat about all the historical romances that we love and we want to read so here are some recommendations i guess from all the books that i have hauled so this one's going to be a very long video because i don't remember how many historical romances i've hauled that were new i think around 30 maybe 50 I'm going to go 30 to 50 or 30 to 40. So let's get started. So the first book that I purchased is Caroline Linden's About a Rogue. And I think this book is about a girl who is high nobility. And then we have our main hero who wants to be a duke. And his only chance to become a duke is to actually marry the girl. And this is just their romance of how he tries to persuade her into falling in love with her so that he can benefit from the marriage. So the next book that I picked up is a Jennifer McQuiston book. And it's called What Happens in Scotland. And let's just take a look at the step back the step back is gorgeous so if you guys are new to my channel you guys would know that I'm a little bit hesitant with Scotland and Highlander romances because like I find that the accents are a little bit too thick and distracting to read via book so I have been taking a step back from them but then recently I read some Highlanders and I read some Scottish romances and I really quite enjoyed them so I've been on the hunt for them Jennifer McQuiston is an author that I've seen floating around but I never bothered to do much research on and now I'm on a quest to purchase all her books just simply because I want to and this book is about a girl who suffers amnesia she wakes up in the bed of some man and then the man doesn't know what's happening either the man doesn't know if it's his wife or if it's a thief and all he knows is that he's going to chase her down to see who she truly is and I think this romance is going to be super cute I especially love historical romances that feature amnesia because it's just like a lot about like tender and caring and making sure that they're okay and before they remember who exactly they are so the next next book that I purchased is this gorgeous copy of Sarah Robinson's When Seducing a Spy and now this book is about our hero who is a spy and he has to solve like the mystery behind his childhood best friend who might have committed a crime and the only person who kind of knows if he committed a crime or not is our main heroine and our main heroine has a secret to keep herself and what she's going to do is that she's not going to fall for his charms. I love spy historical romances because they're just filled with a lot of adventure and a lot lot of action scenes so I'm super excited to read this one too and I just love the cover of this one. So the next book that I purchased is Karen Rainey's Soul to a Leard, a Lard. I don't know how to say that name and I just want to talk about the gorgeous back of this book so like I don't know what you call this like a back step back or something like that. 
I just really like the cover of this book and I didn't expect the back to be this gorgeous. So on the inside they have their synopsis thankfully. So this book is about a rich person. It's a rich heiress who is sold or like who has a preposition like her father sold her to marry this guy and she doesn't want to be married to this guy but this guy needs to marry her in order for him to have the piece of land that comes with her marriage. And um, so I'm a little bit iffy about Karen's books not because of her writing quality or like about anything. It's just about like Karen's comments towards certain political issues that have been happening around the world that is hurtful to a lot of people, especially for me. Um, so I'm a little bit iffy in supporting her writing and supporting her books, but I do like historical romances and I purchased this way before I figured out that she made some comments toward that issue. Also, I just wanted to let you know that Karen has actually recently passed away in June. So now all her books that I am purchasing are used copies. So I don't feel like I'm actually supporting her financially like I'm not giving her money for what she said but I also feel kind of iffy about reading her books as well but we'll see how we're going to feel about that and how my morals and ethics work out. So the next book that I purchased is Donna Fletcher's The Highlander's Bride so once again we're going with The Highlanders and I really like the cover of this book as well. The back is not so pretty but it's still pretty to me because it's a little bit different. This book is about a Highlander who didn't know he had a son so then now he wants to reunite himself with the son but the only person that can help him is our female heroine and our female heroine needs some help. He, she needs to actually marry someone so she she decides to persuade him to marry her so that she can help connect him with her son. So this is like kind of like a blackmail, marriage of convenience, single father romance that I'm quite excited for too as well. So the next book that I purchased is this gorgeous copy of Victoria Alexander's Seduction of a Proper Gentleman. I just really like the cover of this because it's completely scandalous. Like she's undoing her corset and it's just hot. But this book is about a lady who needs to break a century's curse. So there's some fantasy elements to it I believe and in order for her to break the curse she's not going to follow society's rules and marry the earl but then what happens is that she escapes goes to the city bumps her head loses all her memories and doesn't know who she is anymore so we're dealing with amnesia again and then she meets our main hero who just so happens to be the earl and the earl just wants to marry a girl and doesn't want to marry the lady and the earl meets her he's suspicious of her motives because she's completely clueless and this is the story of them falling in love and I think that this one's going to be very hilarious and very cute as well. And also I'm on a hunt to collect all Victoria Alexander's books. Don't ask me why, I just like her name and I just like the covers of her books and I feel like her synopsises of the books sound very good. So I've actually ordered like 30 of her books from eBay and they're coming my way very soon. So the next book that I have to show you is a Joanna Shoup book called The Devil of Downtown. It's part of the Uptown Girl series. My friend Lacey has been loving jo Joanna Shoup's books for the longest time ever and she's been recommending this to us for like the longest time ever and this is their, actually like the latest novel that I picked up from Walmart. I'm excited about this book and I'm excited about the series because Lacey has great recommendations. This cover is gorgeous because it's pink and I love it. So this book is about a female heroine who tracks down deadbeat husbands and I think she makes them pay for like all the things that they didn't do to support the wife. And then we have our main hero who is a very tough guy and who runs a certain territory in like the area where this book takes place. I'm excited to read this book because it seems like it's going to be filled with very strong characters that are going to be going against each other and it's just going to be it just sounds kind of angsty. So the next book that I picked up is Joe Beverly's Saint Raven and now this book is a book about a girl who is being forced into having a marriage with a guy that is completely vile but she's doing it so that she can save her family's reputation and save her family from ruins and she's trying to like look for the wealth of her father that is like hidden or something. Before she arrives to her destination she is kidnapped and whisked away by our hero who just so happens to be a lord. He's doing this because he hates the female heroine's um, fiance because the heroine's fiance is an evil bastard and he's willing to do all this so he can get his revenge on him and they fall in love. So it's like a kidnapper and the captive's 
romance. So the next book that I picked up is a Sharice Michaels book called You May Kiss the Duke and it's part of the Brides of Belgrovia, Belgravia series. And now I never read a Sharice Michaels book but for some reason I keep collecting them and I think the reason why I keep collecting them is because the print price of these books are actually really cheap. So this one in Canada is $8.99 when typically my historical romances range from $9.99 and $10.99 and then with $8.99 I usually get like a discount from the bookstore online prices so it becomes even more cheap. So there's like really this is a great incentive for me to pick up all her books because they're cheap. Um, so I never read one before so I don't know if they're good but this book follows a girl who was married to an abusive husband but then um, in order for her to get saved from the abusive husband she leaves him and marries some other guy and then they have like they just get married so that they can benefit each other so she can escape an abusive relationship and then he can get the dowry of attached to her name they live a very distant life like they don't live together they don't know what each other is doing until she bumps into him again and finds him like half dead in the water and she picks him up and then she takes care of him and then he wakes up and then he realizes that he's really attracted to his wife. So this book is kind of like a second chance romance. And so the next book that I have to show you is this gorgeous copy of Candace Hearn's Once a Dreamer. So this book I actually purchased off Amazon, which is very surprising because usually they don't have like old historical romances like this one still in stock in their warehouses. So this book is beautiful and I love it so much and I love the synopsis of this book as well. So our main hero is actually a advice columnist and basically he writes advice under like a pen name and then like, nobody realizes it and everybody thinks that the person who's writing it is actually a female but he's actually a male and he is a hopeless romantic and he'll do whatever he can do to keep that identity a secret. But what happens when our main heroine actually figures out that the columnist is actually a male and it's our main hero, they decide to work together to figure out what has happened to our main heroine's best friend after taking the advice of his and it sounds like it's going to be super cute and super fun because I've never read a romance where you know the main hero is kind of like in tune with his emotions and is actually giving out the romantic advice in historical romances so I'm excited for this one. So the next book that I picked up is Jenna Peterson's book called Scandalous and now this book is gorgeous as well. I really was attracted to the cover of this book. So this book is about our main heroine who is engaged to this man and the one secret that she figured out afterwards is that the man actually already has a wife so to save her reputation to save her from scandal she has agreed to marry her fiance's older brother and the older brother is just going to save her and they are thrown together in this marriage of convenience and this like kind of like forced marriage situation. What they didn't expect was them to actually be attracted to each other so I think it's going to be filled with a lot of sexual tension and I'm here for it. So the next book that I picked up is Olivia Parker's To Wed a Wicked Earl and now this book sounds extremely cute after reading the synopsis. So I read the synopsis of books after like finding the titles but I never remember them obviously so I so a lot of people have been commenting and telling me like oh how do you remember all the synopsis of the books that you are filming and I'm like I don't I just pause my filming and I read the synopsis again and then I relay it back to you so that's my secret so this book is about a friends to lover romance so we have an earl who needs to marry very quickly but the only person that he would ever consider marrying is his best friend but then he thinks that his best friend does doesn't like him and then meanwhile his best friend which is our main heroine doesn't think that he would like her so they've been friends with each other but they've been hiding their secret feelings for each other and it just sounds so adorable and I'm so in love with it. So the next book that I was didn't pick up my friend Desiree from janky reader or ganky reader um gave me this book for my birthday and it's julie garwood's the secret after uh lacy basically blew it up on instagram and told everybody that the secret is amazing and that we all should read it everybody bought copies of the secret and i didn't want to be you know left behind so I decided to pick up a copy myself and when Desiree asked me what I wanted for my birthday she, I was like the secret so I got a copy of the secret this is a new version copy so it's a little bit boring compared to the green version but it's completely fine um this book is a Scottish romance involving a girl who has to go to the highlands to figure out who her father is and then the person that is touring her around Scotland is our main hero um Lacey and everybody else who has read this book 
absolutely loved it so I'm excited to pick it up to see what the hype is about um after they hyped up Julia Garwood I ended up buying like a whole lot of Julia Garwood books on eBay so I'm excited to show you all the Julia Garwood books too as well in my next video so the next book that I have to show you is this gorgeous copy of Catherine Caskey's How to Seduce a Duke and you think like okay there's like no face on the cover but then the back of the book is like this and it's just completely beautiful and I love it so much. So this book is about a girl who is trying to seduce this duke and then every time she tries to seduce this duke or every time she wants to hang out with the duke because she actually likes the duke, his older brother actually comes in and keeps preventing her from spending time with him so that they can't get like to know each other that well and then this is their romance and I think that this one is going to be super cute as well and I freaking love these tropes and I freaking love this storyline. So the next book that I have to show you is a Christmas novel from four different historical romance authors Valerie Bowman, Tiffany Clare, Vivian Lorette, and Ashlyn McConaughey. I never read any of these authors books before but I do like Vivian Lorette because I've collected a lot of her books but I've read only one from her and it was like all right. So this is just like a collection of Christmas historical romances and I love Christmas historical romances because they're so cute. Christmas is one of my favorite genres of books to read or subgenres of books to read in romance and I'm excited to read this one. So the next book that I picked up is Tracy Ann Warren's Tempted by His Kiss and now this book is about a girl who is trapped in a snowstorm so she has to room with the hero and then they are stuck together in close proximity and I don't know if you know this but I freaking love those ones too as well. I think a lot of romance readers really just like secretly love close force proximity like, like stick me in a cottage with a hot guy and I'm there for it. So I'm really excited to pick up this one as well. So the next book that I have is Catherine Caskey's To Sin With A Stranger and this one kind of has a half cover with a step back like this. I think this is really pretty and I really like the design of this book. However, I feel like it's a little bit dangerous with my shelves if I don't put it on flat because I have like a high chance of ruining this gorgeous cover. But this book is part of the seven Deadly Sin series, I think. So it's seven St. Clair brothers and sisters. And this book just follows them uh, these people who live their lives in ruin. So they live their lives differently from society and they have poor reputations. So now they're being forced to get married or else they'll live their lives in poverty because their father is going to disown them from the will and disown them from like the money that they're receiving. So now we have one of our main heroes who is trying to marry this girl. And then this girl is horrified because she's like really innocent or something like that. Uh, she's horrified that there is an amount wagered for her to get married to someone. So then afterwards, like, she doesn't want to play that game. So she decides to play her own game of seduction. So I think that this book is going to be really fun. And I think the series is going to be really fun as well. So the next book that I purchased is a Vivian Lorette novel once again. This book is called The Manning Lord Montwood and it's part of the Rakes of Fallen Hall series and now this book is about a girl who has suffered a lot because of her father who is a lot of, in a lot of debt from gambling and things like that so when the opportunity comes to kind of clear the debt and to clear her name and to save her reputation she is all for it but what happens when our main hero realizes that she's going to be ending up in kind of like a scam and so he comes in the way and prevents her from actually taking part of like this partnership to clear her name and she's completely frustrated by it and she doesn't know what's happening so I think this one is going to be kind of like a fun romance as well. Now the next book that I picked up is another Vivian Lorette novel. This one is called This Earl is on Fire and it's a part of the Seasons original series and now this book follows a main character who is injured and then he is like blinded or like he has injuries like near his eyes so he has like bandages around his eyes so he's blinded throughout the book or majority of the book and our main heroine takes care of him and even though he can't see her he's attracted by her voice and he's allured by it so this is kind of like a like a sensual seduction novel and there are secrets that they are hiding from each other as well as the fact that I don't know if he actually forgot his memory or not but I think this one's going to be really cute as well. It's a pretty thin book for a historical romance 
comments, so I'm excited to get to it. So the next book that I picked up is another Charisse Michaels book. It's called The Earl Next Door. It's part of the Bachelor Lords of London series, and I really like the cover of this book too, with like the flowers and then them kind of like against a door. So this book is literally like the boy next door story trope, where our main female heroine is kind of like her life is in shambles, her house is falling apart, and she the last thing she wants to do is actually return back to New York City, where her mother and her like brothers are where they're kind of like emotionally abusive and they're not like the best people to be around so she wants to stay in London and then the Earl lives next door and the Earl is just like not caring about her not thinking about her until she like falls through the walls of his castle or something like she kind of like bursts through in and then now she's intrigued by her and they're kind of like caught in this scandal where now the earl and her needs to pretend that they're courting each other so this is kind of like a fake dating trope as well and i'm excited for it so the next book that i picked up is margot mcguire's wild and this book i don't know what part of series this is but i do have like books one like i have a couple books in the series from this on my shelf so this book is just about I don't really know what this book is about from the synopsis, but I think it just is about a man who has been in the wild for a long time. I'm not sure if it's like the jungle or he's just out of society and he's just wild and wild to tame, but um, he's the next Earl and she is kind of like given the duty to go find him, to bring him into society. And then she doesn't know if this is real him because he's so wild and he's so different from what she expected and I think that this one's going to be a very hot one judging from like the cover like this is scandalous I love it so much so the next book that I picked up is an Anne Mallory book called the Earl of her dreams and now this book is forced proximity because our main heroine needs to run away from a marriage so she does and she disguises herself as a boy so anytime a historical romance has a main heroine who is disguising herself as a boy I'm all all for it because it's usually really funny of like how she's just trying to act like a boy and then our main hero is like suddenly like attracted to a boy and he's just like kind of like questioning his like sexual like his sexual preferences because like why is he attracted to this like normal cabin boy and I just find it hilarious but this book is kind of about our main heroine who is kind of trapped in the same inn as our main hero and then this is them falling in love with each other and hiding their secrets from each other so I'm excited to read this one. So the next book that I picked up is Melody Thomas's Passion and Pleasure the London and now this book is a Robin Hood kind of retelling so our main heroine is actually Robin Hood. She steals from the rich and gives to the poor and she wants to steal from the rake who is extremely rich but our rake is actually I think he's a he's a spy for London so he knows exactly what's up when somebody breaks into his house. So he is determined to catch the little thief and this book sounds like it's going to be super fun and super cute. I really like the Robin Hood trope too as well because it's usually very wholesome and very pure and also like they have like their own intentions that they're not willing to give up in a relationship. So I hopefully I really enjoy this one. So the next book that I picked up is another Victoria Alexander book called The Virgin Secret and now this book has a step cover of this one. I think it's very pretty. I like the blue and the purple. So this book is about a girl who is untouched so she's a virgin and um, she seduces a man and they kind of like live together and then the man is kind of like attracted to her but he doesn't really trust her and the reason why he doesn't trust her is because our main heroine is actually hiding a secret. She knows that he has stolen her older brother's identity and is pretending to be someone that he is not so she is trying to seduce him to figure out like the true reasons of why he's stealing her brother's identity and kind of like ruining the reputation of it. So the next book that I have is Suzanne Enoch's book called Before the Scandal and it's part of the Notorious Gentleman series and now this book now for for Suzanne Enoch I really want to collect all her books because her synopsis sound really good um so but I never really read a Suzanne Enoch book before but I have read like 30% of one of two of audiobooks from not like the Avon romance line but from the St. Martin's Press romance line and they were kind of like okay so I'm really hoping that her Avon books are better. Um, so this one is about our main hero whose reputation is getting ruined so he needs to go figure out 
who's ruining his reputation so he kind of like disguises himself as a highway man and he travels all through the night in like kind of like a cloak and a mask and he bumps into our main heroine and he, I think he captures her she's not afraid by him but she's severely attracted to him so yay for sexual attention so for the last couple of books that I have right here last couple of books being like the last 10 books I collected books from authors that I really like like a lot of their like back listed books um so here is a stack of all the sophie jordan books that i could pick up from the store and i'm super excited so if you guys are also new to the channel you guys wouldn't know that i am actually a huge fan of sophie jordan's historical romances i find that her historical romances are very cheesy very lovely and very filled with a lot of sexual tension it might not have like the best plot and best like conflict resolution but i still really enjoy them so i really wanted to pick up the physical copies of her books so let's go through them so the first sophie jordan book i picked up is sophie jordan's one night with you and this one kind of follows the cinderella trope so we have a lady for a heroine but he's kind of but she's has been treated like a servant throughout her whole entire life and she's tired of it so she decides to dress up one day for the ball and puts on a mask for the masquerade and then she meets our main hero and they're completely captivated by each other but obviously she can't be in that position all the time so she kind of flees and runs away and our main hero is kind of left wanting more and our main hero needs to marry a girl but the only girl that he wants to marry is the girl that he met at the masquerade so the next selfie jordan novel that i picked up is wicked nights with a lover and i really like the cover of this book but i also didn't realize that the back cover of this book is even more gorgeous. I really like the red and the white. It's very pretty and captivating. So this book is about a main heroine who has been told that basically she's gonna die by the end of the year. So she decides to live her life to the fullest by kind of like embracing her sexual nature and she is on her carriage ride ready to go put her life to kind of like ruins by embracing herself and entering into a sexual relations when she is adopted by our main hero because our main hero wants to get revenge on like a partnership that has fallen through by marrying um, his enemy's daughter and his enemy's daughter just so happens to be our heroine and this is their book of like game and seduction and I think it's going to be really cute and really dramatic. I can't wait to see how this book ends especially because our main heroine is told that she's gonna die. So my next Sophie Jordan novel that I picked up is Wicked in Your Arms and now this book is about a girl who is extremely rich so she has a large dowry attached to her name and then um, she's been basically getting a lot of like offers for marriage because of her money so she's really tired of that but what happens when our main hero who just so happens to be a prince really needs a large sum of money and so our prince is actually trying to seduce her throughout this book and I think it's going to be pretty cute as well. I kind of like the colors of this book but it also reminds me of Halloween so I don't really know how to feel. So the next book that I picked up from Sophie Jordan is Lessons from a Scandalous Bride and it's part of the series of Forgotten Princesses and now this book is about a girl who grew up poor for the majority of her life until she realizes that her father is actually super rich and in order for her to get like some of that wealth she actually has to marry into high nobility and then we have our main hero who's kind of like left destitute and doesn't have a lot of money and he needs to marry rich so this is the story once again of where our hero tries to seduce our heroine. So the last book that I picked up from Sophie Jordan is Surrender to Me and this one's kind of like a highlighter romance as well so our main heroine is kind of left destitute and she has to fire half her staff give up all her ball gowns um give up like basically her life in luxury and a lot of people have been talking about her and gossiping about her because she lost all her fortune and then because she lost all her fortune a lot of these like creepy old men are trying to like pluck her away and like marry her because she's like hot and she's like very pretty and beautiful so then afterwards she is left disgusted so she needs to save her reputation she needs to save her life and the only way she can do that is she if she can go to Scotland so she hires a man to kind of take her to Scotland even though it's like super dangerous and super long journey so I think that this one's going to be really cute as well. So the next book that I picked up is from Laura Lee Girk and it's called The Trouble with True Love. I have a few of Laura Lee's books on my shelves and I'm super intrigued by her books because they sound beautiful and this one just kind of completes a series I believe and that's why I bought it but this book is Lady True Love's book and it's like Clara who kind of confesses to Lady True Love who is an advice columnist again and um she is just ranting on and on about her relationship issues and then she is met with our main hero who is not in the mood to produce a spare not in the mood to you know marry someone 
but the only person that catches his eye just so happens to be our main heroine so i'm excited to read this one so the last laura lee girk book that i got is the wicked ways of a duke and this cover is really beautiful with the deep navy and blues but the back of this book is even prettier. I really like it. And I just really like his long hair and her back. And it's just gorgeous. So this book is about a poor heroine who is like a seamstress. And she's been living off of a seamstress wages this her entire life. Until she realizes that her father is rich. And in order for her to inherit his wealth, he has she has to actually marry someone. And then her client is actually our hero. And our hero needs to marry a girl. So he decides to, to Seduce the seamstress. So I know this haul is super long already, but we're finally at down to our last nine books. And so the last nine books is all my Lorraine Heath books. So if you guys haven't watched it already, I did a guide to Lorraine Heath. And I basically said that Lorraine Heath is kind of like my new favorite historical romance author. I just really like her stories and how she puts her characters into predicaments that seem like it's going to be very hard for them to resolve. So now I collected some of her back listed copies and her books so I'm excited to show you. So the first Lorraine Heath book that I picked up is Midnight Pleasures with a Scoundrel and the back cover of this book is so pretty. I love it so much. So this book is about a girl who has a sister that was dead that was killed or was wrongfully like accused of something and then she killed herself. I don't really know the backstory of it but it's her investigation. She wants to investigate what's happening, but she's being followed by our main hero who is being told to keep an eye out for her because she is being accused of nefarious deeds. So this book is kind of like a cat and mouse book where our main hero is chasing after our main heroine and trying to seduce her in order for her to reveal her secrets. So the next book that I picked up is In Bed with the Devil and this book has a gorgeous step back as well in the back and this book is a little bit heavier with like suspense and thriller so our main hero is actually c accused of like murder and like crimes and then our main heroine is desperate and in need of the help of our main hero so he'll do so she'll do whatever it takes to save her family's reputation and her life so she decides to marry our main hero and then our main hero kind of has secrets of his own and it's going to be slowly revealed but what happens when they are constantly being put in dangerous situations because of their enemies so I'm really intrigued by this series from Lauren Heath because when I read her books they were very complicated in plots and they had really villainous characters that I was not expecting in historical romances. So the next book that I picked up is Surrender to the Devil and this book has a gorgeous step back book as well and this book is about our main heroine who kind of grew up on the streets and she has basically climbed her way to the top of survival and she is doing really well for herself. She works in like a gambling hall and she is taking care of herself really well but then she's being seduced by our main hero who is really attracted to her so I'm excited to see like what kind of twists and what kind of like dangerous situations they put themselves in because I think this book is a part of the series that I showed you so far. So the next book that I picked up is To Marry an Heiress. Now this book has a gorgeous step back as well. It's so pretty. I freaking love it and this book is about a girl who is rich or she was rich and then our main hero who wants to marry her because of her wealth and when they're completely satisfied and they know each other's bodies really well he realizes that she actually is poor and that she doesn't have money anymore so now it's up to her to kind of like convince him and to show him that there's more to a marriage than money and that is love. So I think this one's going to be very cute as well and I really want to see how they kind of like get over the fact that his life might be ruined because he wasn't giving him the dowry that was promised to him. So the next book that I picked up is She Tempts a Duke by Lorraine Heath and now this book is actually a book that I read already. This is kind of a childhood best friends to lovers romance. It's about like this group of boys who were captured by their evil uncle and then their titles were stolen until they kind of like come back together and reunite to take back their titles and their nobility and then um, it's our main heroine who kind of like grew up in society really well and she's already engaged to another man and then she is still attracted to her childhood best friend and I kind of enjoyed this one and I liked it. So the next book that I have to show you is As an Earl Desires and this one has a gorgeous back copy as well. I really like the blue. It really matches well with my nails. Okay, anyways, so this book is about a man who needs to marry and he's determined to marry this like kind of like ice queen 
girl and then the ice queen heroine is kind of like I'm not going to marry you but I will show you how to seduce a girl and I will help you match you with a perfect girl for your purposes and then he is actually determined to seduce her so then this one is kind of like a matchmaker to lover romance which I'm quite excited for. So the next book that I picked up is Love with a Scandalous Lord and this one is part of like the series of the first Lauren Heath book that I just showed you and once again she has really beautiful back copies I really I really didn't know that she had like step backs on her backs but I love it so much so this book is about a girl who kind of wants to enter into society she wants to marry someone that is perfect for her who is also a lord and high nobility but then as soon as she enters into like the city she like bumps into our Marquess and he is kind of like a scandalous man and now he's seducing her and I think this one is going to be very funny because she's like what the heck like I I thought I was gonna marry like someone good but like why am I get marrying a playboy so the next book that I have to show you is an affair with a notorious heiress and now I think I read this book but I haven't marked it on goodreads because I was lazy with marking on goodreads because once I read the synopsis of this book I'm like I'm pretty sure I read it but this book is about a girl who is being kind of introduced into society again with our main hero because she has like a ruined reputation because um she did something and then the society thinks that she's not innocent or she's not pure or she's not like the best wife ever so it's up to him to kind of help her enter into society so that he can so that she can marry someone and this is kind of their love story and it's very dramatic from what I remembered but I really enjoyed it. So the last book that I have to show you is Lord of Temptation and I believe I read this book too as well and I think I did a review of this book but I'm not too sure. So this book is about a captain so our hero is a captain of a ship and he's hired to help protect this lady when they go on their adventures together because she has her own secrets and she needs to travel across like the different countries and islands and stuff like that and um, this is their love story and it has four close proximity so if you guys are into like hot scenes like that with a lot of sexual tension and dealing with grief then you'll definitely love this book but anyways that is it for my super super long historical romance book haul it's going to be a fun time trying to edit I'm gonna go stand up and stretch my legs now because my leg is completely numb and falling asleep but hopefully you guys have a lot of recommendations to add to your TBRs and as well as your cart let me know in the comments down below what books you're most excited for and who are your favorite historical romance that I should check out like the authors and historical romance titles but until then I'll see you guys next time bye <music>